Hallelujah. Thank you. Today, let's continue examining Lamech, a powerful one, for a second time. The word of life today comes from Genesis 5, verses 30 to 31. Then Lamech lived 595 years after he became the father of Noah and he had other sons and daughters. So all the days of Lamech were 777 years and he died. This is the word of God. Amen. Lamech was Noah's father. Also, Lamech's son is Noah. Lamech fathered a son and named him Noah. Why do you think he did that? Today, let's examine that relationship. Firstly, Lamech experienced suffering deeply while living on this earth. In Genesis 5, verse 29, how is it expressed? Toil of our hands. It's expressing that we are toiling with our hands. This toil corresponds to the Hebrew word its savon, which means pain. Pain. There are often many times when we experience various kinds of pains while living on this earth. There are many types of suffering we experience such as economic hardship, suffering due to illness, pain caused by children or parents, suffering from relationships and various other forms of suffering. Lamech experienced and keenly felt such sufferings. On page 124 of the Genesis Genealogies, Reverend Huisan Abraham Park sings of Lamech's sentiment like this. This passage contains Lamech's anguished cry regarding the fragility of mankind that he is so acutely recognized through his own deep suffering on this earth. This Lamech was a godly man. He acknowledged man's inability to overcome suffering. He sings in this way. Secondly, what is the cause? of such agony and sadness in life. Lamech realized that it is the result of the fall of man and God's subsequent curse. So specifically, the Hebrew word itzavon refers to the suffering that took place after humans fall. Take a look at Genesis 3 verses 16 through 17. God said to Adam and Eve after the fall, to the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your pain in childbirth. The word pain is as well the word itzavon in Hebrew. Also, God said to Adam in Genesis 13 verse 17, In toil you will eat of it all the days of your life. Here as well, the word labor is itzavon in Hebrew. Therefore, we can understand that this suffering of life was given within God's judgment as a consequence of Adam and Eve's fall. Thus, the curse came after humanity fell. So look at Genesis 3, verse 17. Then to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree about which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Ground was cursed because of Adam. Because of this curse, we must labor and toil all our lives. That's Isavon, the suffering. The suffering came upon humankind. So Lamech hoped and earnestly waited for the one who would resolve the suffering who is the Messiah, Jesus Christ. In this sense, consider Genesis 5, verse 29. Now he called his name Noah, saying, This one will give us rest from our work and from the toil of our hands arising from the ground which the Lord has cursed. This is what he confessed. Therefore, Lamech earnestly awaited the Messiah, who he believed would resolve the sorrowful fallen state. Here, this one will give us rest refers primarily 
to Noah. However, ultimately, it represents the Messiah, Jesus Christ, who comes as a seed of the woman that will resolve all these issues. In Genesis 3, verse 15, it is speaking about Jesus Christ who will come as the woman's seed. So Lamech, believing in this word, waited for the Messiah who would come as a seed of the woman. Primarily, this one refers to Noah. Noah in Hebrew is Noah, Noah, which means rest or comfort. Noah means rest or comfort. Ultimately, this one refers to Jesus Christ. Why is that so? Jesus is the one who provides true rest, eternal rest. Please look in Mark 2, verse 27 and 28. The Sabbath was made for man. So this statement means as follows. The statement, the Sabbath was given in the Old Testament era and the Sabbath is intended for the sake of humanity. On the contrary, it is not that man exists for the sake of the Sabbath. What is being implied by this statement? If the Sabbath is a shadow, then the man is the substance. If the Sabbath is a process of instruction, then the man is the culmination. This man refers to Jesus Christ, who is God incarnated as a human being on earth. So in Mark 2 verse 28, Jesus said, So the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. The one who gives true peace and true rest on this earth is Jesus Christ. Therefore, in this sense, Isaiah 9 verse 6 speaks of Jesus as the Prince of Peace. Also, take a look at John 14 verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Jesus gives true rest. He gives true peace. When you receive that peace, there is no need to be troubled in your heart or be fearful. Beloved saints, today as well, admits this painful life, the one who gives us true rest and true peace is Jesus Christ. May you all receive courage to not be anxious or fearful, but to boldly triumph in this world by embracing Jesus Christ in your hearts. And I pray and may this blessing be upon all of you in the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Father God, who always guides our steps with love and loving kindness, Lamech, living in this world, experienced numerous pains and realized that the cause of the suffering was the fall of humankind. And he realized that the one to resolve the suffering is Jesus Christ. He lived each day in hope and longing for the Lord, trusting in faith. Father God, today, as the Prince of Peace who resolves our suffering, as the Lord of the Sabbath, and as Jesus Christ who gives true peace, Help us to embrace him in our hearts. May we not be afraid or anxious, but lead us to overcome suffering in this fallen world and to triumph daily with faith. We entrust everything to you, Father, and fervently pray in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen.